What is something you've been struggling with for years, but you can't seem to overcome it? Procrastination, overthinking, being self-conscious in social settings, and you've kind of accepted to live with it. You've gotten comfortable. But what if there was a powerful way to trick your brain into changing it once and for all? Titans like Tim Ferriss, successful CEOs, and many high achievers have used this to make drastic changes in their life. But a quick disclaimer, it's pretty extreme. And I wouldn't recommend everybody to do it, but it works. <clears throat> Personally, my whole life, I've been struggling with some form of perfectionism. Even as a five-year-old, I would wipe my mouth after every single bite until it was all red and hurting. I've been overbrushing my teeth to the point where I have sensitivity all over my mouth and I had to get a bunch of dental work done because of that. And earlier this year, I said we would upload two videos a month and we have barely done one a month. I'm currently $100,000 in debt because I took out a loan for this channel and we almost went out of business last month. And it's all because of that one thing that I can't seem to overcome. I can't get going like this. This needs to change. What's that struggle for you that's been holding you back for years to the point where you think it's just who you are and you don't even question it anymore? What if you haven't overcome this thing yet because you've simply accepted it? So check out this graph that I made. We wanna be in the happy zone. Obviously it sucks to be in the pain zone down here, but the worst place to be is the middle zone where things are fine. See in the pain zone, we're at least motivated to get out of it. But in the middle, we're not motivated to change and we're not really happy. I've always wanted to pursue my dreams, but you had a comfortable, well-paying career you didn't like. You keep wanting to do this thing, but it's fine if you do it tomorrow, next week, next year. You don't have the friends you want, but social media makes you feel kind of connected. Some people get stuck here for their entire life, like I have, for as long as I can remember. The life I wanna create is impossible if I keep operating this way. If I get lucky, something terrible happens that forces me to change it, but that day may never come, unless there is a way to create it. Luckily, we have the Dickens process. This was popularized by Tony Robbins. Our entire life changes in a moment. Who gets that, say I. I'm at a place called Uncharted Adventures here in Austin, and uh, I booked a race room. Is that weird? No. One of my very close friends is extremely, extremely accomplished, and he goes to Unleash the Power Within every year. He's been 11 times, maybe 12 now. The Dickens process made the entire event an easy, like 10 to 100x return for me. If you made it this far, now is the time to pay close attention, because this could be a turning point for you if you decide to go through the exercise with me in the back of your mind. Ask yourself, what are you no longer going to tolerate? What behavior or habit or area of struggle? Whatever it is, at the root of it is a single belief that is creating the problem. In my case, if I don't control things, something bad is gonna happen. Now let's be clear, this belief is simply a choice. But I had this trauma and my brain is just, it's just who I am. It doesn't matter where it came from. It may not be your fault, but it's now your responsibility to change that belief. Now this is where things get interesting. The goal of the Dickens process is to increase the pain you associate with this belief until your face melts. So you have no choice but to let go of it and therefore you finally overcome this problem. But I already know it's a painful belief to have, so why haven't I changed it yet? Because you haven't covered all three timelines. Let me explain. The Dickens process is based on the Charles Dickens story, A Christmas Carol, where this dude is a total dick and he gets visited by three ghosts past, present, and future, that show him one after the other that you've been in the past and it sucked, you're a now and it's a problem, and look how bad crazy it gets if you keep being such a dick. And then he realizes he has to stop being a dick and he's all nice and We need pain in all three timelines. If we think it'll be fine in the future, we won't change. If in the past it was fine, it can't be that bad. And if at the moment it's all right, then meh. By asking ourselves a specific set of questions, we cover all three timelines and create the emotional leverage that we need. Ready to change it? Let's dive in. Have a look at the belief or behavior that you picked out. What does this belief cost you in the past? There's things that I'm thinking about that I don't even want to share on camera because I feel... Uh, third grade and fourth grade, I was terrified of failing at school. It really took the joy out of me as a kid because I would worry about forgetting my homework or not passing a test. To this day, I have a recurring nightmare of arriving at school 
and all my classmates are ready for the test that they've studied weeks for, and then I'm freaking out and I'm failing the test. That's deeply ingrained in my brain. From years ago when I was a small kid, this, is, this has been persistent. I'm 27 years old now. It was so debilitating. <sighs> that. That's where my seven years of insomnia came from as well. And what all that stress does to my health too is so much damage to my body. Secondly, what is it costing you right now, in the present? The amount of relationships that I've missed out on. I'm so grateful for that moment where I decided to make a move with my last girlfriend because it developed into this beautiful relationship that we had and so much growth and there are so many times in my life where I didn't make that move. I see a girl in a cafe and I have a pimple on my forehead so it's not right yet because I don't control this fully. The amount of joy and happiness and relationships that I've missed out on. Every single video takes so much work, it's ridiculous. I look back at it and I'm like, why did this take so long? Why? But it's because it could be better, it could be better. And yeah, it has many benefits. Yeah, well, f those benefits. Because it's costing me so much happiness. And you may be like, oh no, that's not true, Leon. You're being negative. That's the point of this. There's no like, no, no, it's fine. No, this cannot keep going. If you continue holding this belief, what will it cost you in the future? Five years from now, 10 years from now, when I have kids, will I pass that down another generation? Really feel the pain. Do you still want to hold on to that belief? <laughs> no? Well, double it. All the dreams that I have can't be achieved with the current way that I'm operating. I'm gonna be 30 in three years. By that time, I thought I would have it all figured out. I'm still a little kid inside with this. You think you know what that looks like? This is just the beginning. It's painful to change because it's scary and it takes work. So we have to make it more painful to stay the same. We're not done yet. Before we get into the final step that is crucial to make the change and lock it in, allow me to give an imperfect shout out to Element. Thanks to Element for sponsoring this video and helping keep the channel alive. I've been using it for over a year and I absolutely love it for workouts or just hot days here in Austin to replenish because this is a sugar-free electrolyte drink mix that has sodium, potassium, and magnesium, all essential for peak mental and physical performance and just a mild deficiency can inhibit that and lead to headaches and fatigue, and who wants that? It tastes great, and it actually makes me look forward to workouts. So check out Element with a link below. We got a special offer where you get a free packet of every single flavor, so you can try them all out and find your favorite. Mine is definitely watermelon, and they offer no questions asked refunds. You don't even have to send it back. So it's a no-brainer, go check it out. What a journey. Final step, now that you know how much this belief sucks, choose a new one. Just pick one. I hope this was helpful. Stay driven. See you in the next one.